Let's go. Ready? Okay. Uh, so this is a question about finding the Ka. What's Ka? Uh, equilibrium. It's the same thing as Ka equilibrium, right? Concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. Reactants. Okay. So we need to find that uh, at equilibrium, not the initial order change, right? No. So we have carbonic acid, and we want to find the Ka of that. So they gave us the initial concentration, which was what? 3.5, and they said that the final pH was 5.6. pH has to do with the concentration of what? Of the uh, what in the mixture? The, the uh, H3O plus. Okay. So first step is what? Write the equation always. Carbonic acid, HCO2, right? Right. Yeah. Plus H2O. What's going to happen? This hydrogen is going to go there. So what am I left with? H3O plus plus CO3 minus. Easy so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my initial concentration was 3.5 molar. This is my initial. Right? And what was the initial concentration of? We don't care about this, right? Mm -hmm. What was the initial concentration of this? Zero. Zero. Initial concentration? Zero. And so what's my change? Minus x. What's my change? Plus x. Plus x. What's my change? Plus x. Plus x. Now, here's the thing. Okay, we can finish this up if you like. 3.5 molar minus x, right? X, this x. is x and x. Now, what was my pH? 5.6. What does this? Where does this 5.6 belong to? H3O plus. Which one? One, two, or three? Three. three. So, if I know the pH, I can do this. Just bring it straight down. You can bring it straight down. So, if my pH is 5.6, what does pH equal? pH equals negative log of the concentration of H3O plus. Easy? Yeah. So, it's going to be 5.6 equals negative log. What's the base? 10, right? Of H3O plus. How do we find it? First bring the negative over. Good, yeah. First bring the negative, then do inverse. So do the negative here. So negative 5.6 equals log base 10 of H3O plus. Then what's the inverse? How do you do the inverse? You bring the 10, make it the base of this. So 10 to the negative 5.6 equals the concentration of H3O plus. Calculators. Two point five what? Mm -hmm. Times ten to the negative six. So where am I going to write that? That's my x now, right? So I can write it in here. Two point five times ten to the negative six. I can write it here. Do I need to write it here? Look at three point five. It looks like two point five times ten to the negative six. It's gonna. It's a really small number. So we don't even need to mention it here. You can just leave it here. So now what am I going to do? Find the Ka. So what's my Ka? Ka is the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of CO3 minus divided by what? HCO3. Now what do I do? What are the numbers? 2.5 times 10 to the negative 6, right? times 2.5 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 3.5. Right here. Um, 6.5 times 10 to the negative 40. Sure. Yeah. Normal. Okay. So that's okay. Now, if you realize something, okay, maybe you picked up on this or not. Do I really need to do all this? No, I could have just found the pH right away. Yeah. And assume that these two would be equal, and then use 3.5. So once you get good at it, you can skip all this, but just for now, just to make sure that you get the uh, concept down really well, you can do it. All right? Any questions? Chats? Good. good, buddy. Fantika? You want to do this? Yeah. All right, go ahead. This has been CQ Production. <laughs> <laughs>